And with Thanksgiving less than two weeks away, we're kicking off our annual turkey drive today. KCR 3's Mike DeSalle and Tamara Berg are live out at the Sacramento Food Bank and Family Services with how we can all help out. Yeah, and guys, we're just about an hour and a half away from where you can come along here and drop off those turkey donations. Of course, if you don't have time to pick up a turkey, they'll also accept cash donations and then also some non-perishable items. So as you're waking up this morning, really kind of think about what you enjoy at your family table when you enjoy that Thanksgiving holiday meal. And those are the types of things that we'd like for you to bring down and help us out. But number one, it is a turkey drive, so we are here for the birds. Speaking of birds, let's talk about uh, getting down here and also over the years, kind of the evolution of the turkey drive, Mike. Yeah, I thought when Tamara was setting that up, she was gonna say, speaking of turkeys, we got two <laughs> over here. Myself, I've been here year after year with Blake Young. He's been here every year. In fact, how much has this grown? Take a look first uh, before we start talking to Blake at these numbers showing that, you know, when we first started this the first year way back in 2008, uh, just under 3,000 turkeys were collected, 2766. You can see how in five years that kind of uh, more than tripled. And then last year, over 16,000 turkeys over 13 years it's the 14th year and blake back out here live i just gotta ask you you know that first year i remember we weren't even thinking anywhere close to 2,000 turkeys well i remember you know sitting there talking to folks at case here going oh, what is the number and we're like well if we hit 500 so we said well let's call it the turkey drive 500 and within three hours we are over a thousand so, and that's really how it's happened. The community has come together. This has really become folks' tradition, almost like the run to feed the hungry. It's a teachable moment for young families with kids. But, you know, like you said, we've tripled, we've quadrupled that number, more than quadrupled over the years. And, you know, this is my favorite, this is my favorite event. I mean, everyone's said run to feed the hungry, but this is, this is phenomenal. And as far as making an impact in the community, did you ever envision you'd be able to get this far of an outreach? Because of course the Friends of Folsom also doing their thing yesterday, bringing their turkeys down here. Just the way you've been able to impact the community. But it, it, again, it's been phenomenal. I mean, Friends of Folsom is a, a really special group. I mean, they raise a ton of birds for us. But, you know, all the families, all the corporations, all the construction companies, all the state departments have just come together, and it, it's been quite a community event. I got about 10 seconds, but what do you say to those people who are sitting at home on their couch right now thinking, is it worth getting up and going and getting a turkey and coming on down? It absolutely is. Right now, it, probably more important than I've ever seen it, just simply because of inflation and the pandemic. There's so many people hurting. Please get on up and come on down here. We'll have a good time. Came quite a long way from Turkey Drive 500, and I know you remember that, Deirdre, right? Oh my gosh, yes. And I remember, <laughs> I remember the conversations, like Blake was saying, behind the scenes where we're like, who is going to show up with frozen turkeys? <laughs> we, and uh, our viewers showed us. <laughs> they would. They so, yeah, did. it's great. Thank awesome. you. Awesome. Thanks, guys.